Have you ever been watching a YouTube video and just wondered how much does that guy make? I mean, you see YouTubers giving away a million dollars or buying all their friends' cars, buying new Lamborghinis, or spending $200,000 on freaking Pokemon. So in this video, I'm gonna go over how much I make with roughly 500,000 subscribers, and I'm gonna break down the different streams of income that I earn from YouTube because it's not all contained on YouTube itself. And I'm gonna dive into the exact numbers that you might expect if you started a YouTube channel and started growing an audience today. Let's go into it. I know you love that YouTube money because I do too. YouTube is a great platform to make lots of money with. And I'm gonna go over in detail exactly how much I make on YouTube, how I make it, and what you can expect if you're running a YouTube channel too. Now, if you've been watching YouTube for a bit, you've seen that YouTubers are making more and more and more and more money. You see things like Mr. Beast just literally tipping a house to his, uh, <laughs> to, to his pizza delivery guy. I just bought this house and I'm gonna give it to Chandler. Really? No, Bruh. but I am gonna give it to a pizza delivery guy. You see him giving a million dollars, just a pallet of cash away to his friends. You see people buying new cars, Lamborghinis, buying cars for their friends. And it's absolutely insane the amount of wealth that's being created by YouTube, but it's because of the amount of attention that YouTube is creating for itself. Now you have a few options to figure out how much money somebody is making from YouTube. One option is you can go to socialblade.com and you can type in the channel name of the YouTuber you wanna know how much money they make and Social Blade will give you a range of how much income that person actually makes. But online services like Social Blade aren't always the best. In my case, uh, Social Blade is off by a factor of about 10 to 100. That's how off their range is. So it, it, it's not always the best. The another other way is to actually just search in YouTube how much do YouTubers make? And they can try to give you some sort of estimation. There's some videos out there. But the problem with searching on YouTube is that there is a direct correlation between the amount of money somebody makes and the amount of transparency or the willingness they are to share how much money they make. And that's only natural, right? Most folks are, you know, talking about money is is a taboo cult uh, is it's just kind of a taboo thing to talk about in many cultures. Most people feel uncomfortable talking about money, being transparent with money, talking about how much they make or how much other people make. Again, it's just kind of a subject that people don't really feel comfortable talking about. So most people are not going to talk about it. and the wealthier people get, the less likely they are to tell you how much money they're actually making. Now, in my case, I'm I'm, I'm running a business channel. My The whole channel is about how to make money and talking about ways that I make money is an important part of that. So I'm just, I have to be transparent by the nature of my subject matter. So that transparency stuff, uh, it's, I'm gonna be transparent with you guys. And I had my numbers up just a second ago, but I'm gonna to explain to you the different ways that I earn money through YouTube and other YouTubers earn money with YouTube. So there's four main categories of ways that people earn money with YouTube. Now the first category, which is usually the most talked about or most discussed in other YouTube videos is ads. It's called Google AdSense and that's Google's way of connecting advertisers with videos that they wanna advertise on. Now, the typical ad amount of money people make from AdSense, it, it really varies a wide range, but it typically varies from $2 to $40 per thousand views. And this is oftentimes talked about at, through the word CPM. A lot of YouTubers talk about their CPM. And the two biggest factors that affect this is where the audience is from, if your audience is mainly first world based, you're gonna get more money. If your audience is mainly third world based, like in India or Bangladesh, hey, what's up folks? Uh, you know, you're, you're gonna just get, people are willing to pay less money 
to reach people in those countries. Now, the other thing to note is that a channel CPM is also determined by how focused you are on a specific subject and what the subject matter is of the video itself. For instance, I have two videos that have roughly 1.1 million views each. Yet from one video, I've been able to make $10,000. And from the other video, same amount of views, I made $26,000. Now, how does that make sense? Well, it's just people are willing to spend different amounts of money to advertise on different videos. So depending on your subject matter, in my case, I'm talking about a lot of business stuff, people are willing to spend more money. And even within my channel, people are willing to spend more money on particular videos of mine. Now, the next popular way of making money on YouTube is sponsorships, where people say, hey, and we have a paid sponsor for this video. Um, those typically, you see a kind of CPM, meaning the sponsors typically pay per thousand views. Sponsors only wanna pay if videos get views and they spend between 10 to $100 per thousand views. Now, of course, you can get other sponsorship deals where they just say, hey, here's, you know, a thousand or here's 10,000 bucks. Just go out and make something cool. But you can't really do that unless you have a monstrously established brand and audience. So really, you're going to get money from sponsorships when you're starting out on a CPM basis. The other thing to understand about sponsorships is you can't, you know, at least in my opinion, you can't necessarily rely on them because if you just keep doing sponsorship videos every single time, you're just going to kind of really just lose your audience and people are going to say, all this guy talks about is the companies he's advertising. This sucks. I'm going elsewhere. You don't want to, you don't want to do that. And so really, you know, the people who I follow on YouTube, I typically see a video sponsored maybe once every 10 videos, once every five videos. So I just wouldn't rely on it. And I just feel it also, you also lose your audience sometimes with sponsorships, but if you can get them, great. The next source of revenue is affiliate revenue. It's when you're marketing other folks' products and uh, earning a commission. Now I do this with a couple of different products. I do this for uh, web hosting and I do this for website builder, which is ClickFunnels. So I, I and I, a number of other products as well. But I earn money every time somebody signs up to get their own website. I'm teaching folks how to start an online business. So it's a very natural tie-in, showing folks a good company to sign up for a website. Another natural tie-in is building websites. I recommend folks to ClickFunnels, which is a software to help folks build websites. And again, very natural tie-in to the majority of my content because I'm teaching people how to set up a website, set up an internet business, all that jazz. So I make a lot of money from affiliate revenue. This is fantastic. I, I wouldn't really necessarily put an estimation on it, but uh, in my case, if I were to do an actual CPM, I'd say my CPM is maybe somewhere between 100 to $200 per thousand views. Okay, so I make a lot of money from affiliate revenue um, on my channel. But again, I know how to do it. You know, it's, it's, yeah, I, I'm, I'm pretty good at affiliate marketing by this point. And the last but not least is products. So products are things like, in my case, I sell a training course. I teach other folks how they can do affiliate marketing, which is the way I earned my first million dollars. So, you know, I uh, over time, you know, years ago, I just, I had all these folks asking me, they were on my, Facebook back when I didn't have much of a following and folks would ask me, John, bro, how do you do it? You seem like you're always traveling, man. And I never see you working. How do you afford to go in all these countries all around the world? And you know, I never see you in a suit or a job and you're, you're obviously unemployable. I mean, that beard is just so big. And I got enough messages like that from people hitting me up on social media that I said, okay, you know what? I'm going to put together a course and I'll sell it, you know, make it worth my while. I'm not here to do anything for free, except you, YouTube. So I released my training course and I make a lot of money off of that as well. So a lot of folks, they watch my videos and they say, cool, John, I like learning about how to do free traffic, affiliate marketing, but can you teach me what you do? Is the, the thing where you like spend a dollar in advertising, you make back $2 in selling products. So a lot of people buy my courses. I don't know what the CPM is, but I haven't, 
really tracked it specifically to tell you the truth, but it's a lot of money. To go over specifically how much money I make from YouTube, it's important to look at it by a year by year basis. So first off, I, I, I'm putting 2016 in as a note because way back in the day I had, I just shot some videos of me hiking and I shot some videos of, of how to do Google AdWords because again, I had a lot of folks ask me, how do I set up a Google ad? And I put up some videos and they got a couple, you know, some of them, I, I guess they just kind of got a couple views a year. I was making a couple dollars a year for years. And in 2016, I didn't post any videos and I made five bucks and 37 cents. In 2017, I started posting some videos. I was posting mainly motivational type content of me just on my smartphone, just motivating folks and, you know, giving words of life and wisdom and motivation and and the videos really didn't go anywhere i didn't have any understanding of how to do youtube i made 1800 bucks uh in 2017 i did the same thing in 2018 i just you know i had a few people following me on youtube i'd shoot a couple videos again two thousand dollars not much money to write home about keep in mind i'm running a business during these years this isn't my full this this has never been my full-time income this has never been my primary income source. Now in 2019, I started taking YouTube seriously and I started posting five videos a week, a, one video every single weekday on a excruciating schedule because I wanted to give back to the world. And I figured YouTube is the best way to do that. It's the best form of me volunteering my time basically. And things started to take off. I started researching how to do the YouTube algorithm and how to how to grow a channel, what sort of content to put out. And what happened was I started growing very fast and I got over $100,000 the first year. I actually dedicated myself to doing videos for YouTube. $100,689. Now keep in mind that this is a side business for me. I did this in my free time. I'm, I was already running a business that the year before made me almost $2 million. And in 2019, I was continuing to run my business and I made over $3 million that year. So I'm already making hundreds of thousands of dollars a month. I'm already managing a business, which is in and of itself, you know, basically a full-time thing for me and I'm doing YouTube on the side. So if I was able to do YouTube on the side and make an extra $100,000, I, I think anybody can do YouTube. Anybody has the time if you are committed and if you're focused on it and if you enjoy talking to people, if you enjoy putting out content, you'll do great on YouTube. Now, 2020, I continued to put out five videos a week and, I, and it was excruciating, but I started to burn out towards the end of the year. And I also just got tired of doing the same content of really what I call playing to the algorithm. And I just started putting out stuff I was interested in. So my growth didn't go up as dramatically as it should have in 2020 because Again, I wasn't really focused on it. I, I didn't really care as much in 2020. But as you see, I still made $185,000. So, you know, yeah, $185,000. And keep in mind, that's continuing to run my business, which did over $4 million last year. YouTube is certainly something you can do on the site, but it does take a lot of time and it takes passion and it takes enthusiasm and it takes it takes a keen look at all of the things involved. What's nice about YouTube is that even when I went on a hiatus of YouTube for about six months, the income still rolls in and, and it's been making between 10 and $20,000 a month, even without me posting videos, which is just absolutely nuts. But again, it's a benefit of YouTube is once your content, once you put out your content to the world, you can make money off of that content forever. As long as it's online, you can be getting views and you can be making money. As I said before, YouTube's never been my primary source of income. It's just been kind of a side thing I'm passionate about. But what I think it's important is you never want to be dependent on a single source of income. If you're growing a YouTube channel, it's not good enough to depend on AdSense alone. 
because then if something changes in whatever the business model or the situation, you are completely out of luck. What I've done in my business is I've created multiple streams of income and I teach a lot of this on my channel about how to create a business from scratch, how to create multiple streams of income, the mindset of being able to do all this stuff. And I encourage you to subscribe and just spank that like button over and over and over again until it, but, but leave it blue because that really helps out the YouTube algorithm and that helps out me as well. And also let me know in the comments what your favorite one of these multiple income streams is because I'm gonna talk more about it in future videos. Now, the multiple streams of income that I've created uh, in my business has been, you know, one, one important one has been affiliate, obviously. I do a lot of affiliate marketing because I don't like creating products myself. I have my own training course called the Super Affiliate System, which I believe is uh, it's the best affiliate marketing training program in the market right now. That's how I earned my first million dollars um, in life. So if you wanna learn how I did it and how you can do affiliate marketing too, there's a link down in the description. There's a webinar, there's a video that'll teach you more about what Super Affiliate System is. But it took me a lot of time, a lot of effort to shoot all the videos for all the modules to continually optimize my customer support, to create all the handouts, to create all of the stuff, the webinars, everything involved in running a good training course. So I prefer to market other people's products. Affiliate marketing, OPP, other people's products. You down with OPP? Yeah, you know me. Affiliate marketing is so hands off. And again, that's how I traveled the world for so many years because I had no obligations to any customers. All I did was spend money on ads and have it spit out more money on the other side. The other source of income is courses, right? A lot of folks watch my channel wanting to learn how to do the way I made my first million dollars, which is affiliate marketing. So I teach it in my course and it's very detailed and it works. Um, and it's not dependent on any single, I'm not gonna name out other courses, but it's not dependent on any single traffic source. I teach Facebook ads, YouTube ads, Google ads, Instagram ads. I teach them all because to me, it doesn't matter. I just find the places where I can spend $1, to make back two and I just do it over and over again. The other income stream we talked about is YouTube. YouTube AdSense obviously makes some money, not a lot, but it is nice, right? To have an extra 10 to 20,000 a month. Another major source of income for me is investments. As I grow my investment portfolio, as I grow my wealth, my investments keep pumping out more and more money every year. Last year, the stock market just went on a bull rampage and I did all right. Real estate is not necessarily a source of income for me as I mainly own it as an asset, but it's in, an important part of my, uh, what I call my portfolio because I own a lot of real estate. I, I own a lot of land out here where I live in Malibu, California. Absolutely love living in the mountains. I, I, I cherish our everything about our property. I live on a bit of a horse ranch. I, I Maybe I'll show it around sometime, but uh, it's great. And I also make a little bit of money. Right now, I only make about $1,000 a month from my software. So I, I run a software company. That's where I spend a lot of my time and energy is building a new income opportunity rather than just teaching old, older income opportunities or existing income opportunities like affiliate marketing or e-commerce. Our software allows anyone uh, to become a marketing consultant and to do advertising for local businesses. This is a almost $200 billion category of advertising that is untouched by marketers. And it's untouched because there's never been a way to cost effectively do local business advertising. With our software, you can get started for free. This is something where you can make money without having to spend a dime. So check out our software. There should be a link in the description. We're continually iterating and folks are starting to earn some money using it, which is really exciting and I hope you can too. And last but not least is crypto. I'm sure there's a lot of crypto fanboys here. I bought a uh, Bitcoin back when it was $11 surprisingly. So I've been in the crypto space for a little while now. I've made a little bit of money doing it. And it's, you know, I, 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 I don't fully understand it yet. I don't fully, I, I mean, the hype has been insane, but 
It's definitely a way to make money and I see a lot of folks around me making a lot of money doing it. But that being said, I focus most of my day and activities on my software. I hope this has been interesting for you. Let me know what your favorite thing you learned in this video is and what you'd like me to speak about more in future videos. I look forward to seeing you smash that subscribe button and spank that like button and hearing from you and seeing you in my next video. Thanks for watching. Have a good day.